you've had a very diverse career. What has made you successful? Well, one first thank you for the compliment. And I mean, there are days when I wonder about that. But I think the, the following things. I've always worked very hard. I was raised with a work ethic and I like working. And I learned early to work at learning. The second thing all my life, I've had good mentors. I've had people that have saw something in me and reached out and have helped me. And so many doors in my life were opened by mentors. Luck, I've been lucky. I've been in the right place at the right time sometimes. I think as I look back on it, my parents gave me a great, what I call self-efficacy. I believed I could. I was really, if you will, in many ways, dumb in the sense I was never scared. I was willing to try things, the unknown. And I've always been willing to do that. And through that, I didn't learn it and study it. I sort of developed, it sort of happened, this ability, okay, what do I need to know that I don't know? And so I, I became really very good at not knowing. And so I could be put in new environments, scan the environment, the situation, the job, the opportunity, say, okay, what are successful people doing? What do I not know? How do I learn that? Even all the way when I went to investment banking from law. And then I think when I really look back on it, and your question is a, was a thoughtful question, is I really, I started reading books when I was a young kid in rural Georgia. My parents would take me to the bookstore um, every two weeks to buy a book. And books were sort of my way to dream okay, uh, professionally about sports, whatever. And I loved reading. And so I really developed a love of learning and a thirst for knowledge, which, uh, so I was very fortunate. I was very fortunate. Other people molded me, if you will, into a learner. And that's what keeps me passionate today. I love learning. And I asked myself, you know, what did I learn today? And what's changed is, I'm learning more about how I learn in my processes of learning, my processes of thinking, my processes of relating, my processes of managing myself, being open-minded and quieting my ego today, and maybe not as much about content as we we'll call it soft stuff. So the journey continues. <laughs>